and thank you right honorable speaker right honorable speaker at the beginning of this parliament and i want to commend you you procured a very big tent for bigger meetings to take place uh, at parliament Madam Speaker, I want to be helped. The President, under Article 101 of the Constitution, may request to address Parliament. But there is no way, either in the Constitution or in our rules of procedure, that he must determine the venue. That MPs must be made to test for COVID, to leave all their items, and then go to Kororo and they are subjected to all harassment by his security. Yet the constitution says he may request, which means it is your meeting and your MPs. Madam Speaker, I wanted to be helped. Why did we buy a very big tent for big meetings and now we are abandoning it to be subjected to this inhuman treatment to go to Kololo? And Madam Speaker, most important, because the president considers Kololo his venue, you remember, even when we raised the matters of order, he ran to the microphone and he was uh, the one answering. Because he thought maybe we were in his compound. The Honorable Seungu raised the matter of order. And he quickly ran to the microphone and started speaking, even before the permission of the speaker. So, Madam Speaker, can you persuade the President that if you want to speak to Parliament, you all want to listen to him. That he comes to this parliament here, if he, he doesn't want to speak from inside, then we go outside and he addresses us from the tent. Instead of summoning us to what he has turned his compound, Madam Speaker. Thank you, Honorable Semujo, and uh, that's a very good concern. Um, first of all, the order of Honorable Semujo was not a correct one. Because once the president is speaking, he must be heard in silence. That's one. Two, the, the head of parliament is the speaker. And the speaker decided that because of the limited space, and we expect all the 555 members. So we opted to have it in, in that open place. It is not actually the president that he decided. If there is anybody to be blamed, then we should blame your own leaders. And uh, that is not the president's venue. That is our venue as Ugandans. It is our venue. Kololo belongs to us. It does not belong to the president. It is actually state house that belongs to the president. It is not his compound. Uh, just feel free. Nobody is going to harass you. And... Uh, We'll have our session where. Uh, there was something from. Yeah. We are released and we are very happy. This morning, all the newspapers have names of uh, colleagues, including the Honorable Benson Oboa, who have been summoned by police over iron sheet. <laughs> he has not briefed this parliament and he knows how much pain we face when MPs are sent to jail. So the procedure issue I'm raising is whether a suspect under investigation can continue addressing parliament. Honorable member, Honorable Semoju, Honorable Obua is not a suspect. He is not a minister of Karamoja. There is nowhere reported in this country that there was theft of iron sheets. If iron sheets were given to Honorable Obua or to anybody else, I told you before, iron sheets were taken to my district without me knowing. Am I a thief? Let the, I have said several times, everybody must carry his or her own cross. Don't start diverting people. If somebody diverted any sheets, that's his or her problem. 
we did not ask for them we did not apply for them and secondly our people in Bukedi are not vulnerable they are also vulnerable they are poor you get it eh? so they, they served to the poor and the iron sheets to my recollection were given to government schools we are making we are complimenting what government is doing so obua is a very clean man and uh, I, and since you're you're trying now to divert me i don't <laughs> you're trying to divert me let me now go, go to the point honorable obua i know what you're talking about it's about cost of printing 556 ministerial statements we'll look at it and get back to you let's look at it and see how we handle it and uh, it's really good for me, our members to have that information it's a good thing